Inside Huntsville with Brenda Martin, a conversation with department heads at City Hall on streets, ball fields, public safety, and more. And also with our community partners that add economic security, support education, and enhance the city's quality of life. Hello, I'm Brenda Martin with Inside Huntsville and welcome to our show. North Alabama's natural beauty and natural resources have attracted people here for hundreds of years. The mountains, rivers, forests, and rich soil help make our area very special. Today my guest is Kathy Main and she's the marketing director for the Land Trust of North Alabama. Welcome Kathy, I'm so excited about Thank having you, you here much. today. Thank you for having me. Whether one lives or works or visits our community, they know how important the environment um, is to us in terms of our quality of life. Why have a, a, a land trust? Well, you know, in your introduction, you just, you just told the tale. Did I really? All, okay. of, all of our beautiful resources are what we've been given. And if we don't take care of them and protect them, they will be gone. Because once something is concreted, it's gone. So the land trust, was developed, was begun about 30 years ago as a result of folks wanting to develop the side of Montesano. Oh, okay. So now we have the beautiful green backdrop, which is land trust property as well as city property, which we manage. And I can't imagine the city without it. Mm -hmm. It would have been, it would look like a Christmas tree if we had not had those four, th the four thinking folks in the corporate community and Blossomwood community that said, no, we need to protect this land, we need to save it. And from that, Colonel has grown the Land Trust of North Alabama. And that's our major preserve with 1,100 acres. But we have four others and more in the pipeline. Well now, tell me exactly where it is when you talk about the preserve. This Montesano Nature the Preserve. Mon yes, where is that? It's on the east, I'm sorry, the west face of Montesano. The state park takes care of the east side. Okay. But when you're looking downtown, up toward the mountain, and you see this beautiful green swath, that's land trust property. And we have about 25 plus miles of trails that are free and open dawn to dusk for folks to enjoy. And we are really getting to become a trail town uh -huh. because the land trust offers about 50% of all of the trails and greenways that we have in Madison County. So you've got some 50 miles of trails. Yes, ma'am. I think yes, I read in my in my research, where are they and um, well, what type of trails are they? Our nature preserves offer anything from a beautiful little wildflower trail that goes along Fagan Creek and is lovely for kids to splash in the, in the Clear Creek to some really heart pounding uh, verticals where you have to almost crawl up the side of the mountain. That's That one's called Waterline. Mm -hmm. Our major preserve, the Montesano Nature Preserve, is right off of Bankhead Parkway. Okay. So you go up through five points, like you're going up the north end of the mountain. Yes. About halfway up the mountain, that's our major trailhead, the Bankhead Trailhead. And there's a pavilion that can be rented, and you have access to all of our trails from that area. Another of our major preserves is Wade Mountain Nature Preserve, and it's up past Alabama A&M. Wade Mountain. Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's uh, a little bit north. It also connects with the Pulaski Pike um, concreted area that's a, um, a little part of the Greenway. So you can mm -hmm. access that one in two, two ways. Another very, very popular, and it's been touted by REI, as a, um, a really good place now, to go. Now, what's REI? I'm sorry, REI okay. is the the retailer, the outdoor um, outdoor retailer. We don't have one in our in our area, but there was a very recent article that said, you know, you need to go to Grand Canyon, and you can go to the Smokies, and you can go out to California, oh. and you should come to Huntsville, Alabama. Okay. And they were talking about trails on Rainbow Mountain, which we love out in Madison, as well as Blevins Gap. Now, if you go past Target Shopping Center up Jones, through Jones Valley, and you're going over the mountain to get to um, Hampton Cove. Okay, yes, right, yes, okay. yes. The top there is a graveled area, 
And that's the beginning of our Blevins Gap Nature Preserve. And I see people going down that area. You see oh, yeah, cars yeah, yeah. all the time. Always parked there. Yes. Yeah. And we don't have a large sign there. Th th yeah, there's no we, sign. No, um, but that is the beginning of our, of actually the, the preserve is on both sides of the road. You can also exit behind the little Church of the Nazarene. Now that's going straight down, Kathy, is it not? Or You would be surprised. That's another one of those fun trails. You, it's a little bit difficult at first. Mm -hmm. But once you hit the top of that ridge, you get to a point where you can see both sides of the valley, mm. down in Hampton Cove and the Huntsville Valley, and it's just gorgeous. Um, that's, we're protecting right there the last remnants of the old spacewalk trail that the Boy Scouts created oh, in the 60s. Right? Okay. And that used to go from the Montesano State Park down to not quite Ditto Landing. Um, so we're protecting that. And, and we, we'd love to reconnect it, but that's a long held dream. Well, what about, um, you talk, talk about Ditto Landing. Is there anything in that area? We are going to be talking with them about um, possibility of trails, but okay. the, nothing concrete at this time. In doing my research, um, it was interesting to find that, find out that much of the, many, much of the land trust works um, with willing landowners. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Working, <clears throat> what, what we fictionally call a land deal, is a relationship. Mm -hmm. It's a long-term relationship between the land trust and folks who want to preserve their property. Farm owners um, who have farmed their lands for generations, and then all of a sudden the developer comes in and goes, this is flat and gorgeous and we want it, and you know they're not quite sure what to do. So they, we get a lot of phone calls, and we act as... Um, <clears throat> Well, we act as, as a support system and give them different options. A lot of our, per, of our property has been donated. It's flat out donated because people want to protect that particular piece of property. They know that we'll do a good job. We have become accredited, which is a PhD for land trust. Mm -hmm. So we're doing everything by the book and people can trust us and know that when they work with the land trust and preserve their property, that will be protected forever. Mm -hmm. And we are the first land trust in Alabama, yes. is that correct? Yes. We had that honor that we were established um, the first. There are two or three others now working throughout the state. Uh -huh. One on the coast, one in Birmingham. So um, yeah, we, we use that as, as quite a claim to fame. And we're a little unusual in that we hold our property. We actually own most of it. And then the, in their wisdom, the board of directors said, let's open the properties to the public so that they'll learn about them and love them and in turn support our efforts. And it's, work, it's working out. So what's it like in a day of an employee mm. at the land trust? Oh, we're, we're very busy. It's got to be fun. Oh, it's great. <laughs> I have been employed since 2003 and I've loved every moment of it. It's just, not only do we get out to onto the properties, not quite as much as we'd really like to, okay. but we do. Uh -huh. But it's the myriad of things that we do. We have environmental education, we have special events, we have um, care, trail care days. We're always talking about what we're doing and what people can see on the trails. We have a new map app. Um, so many different things that are green oriented, environmentally protection oriented, and just love of the land, mm -hmm. love of the land. I mean, I always tell people, I've got two daughters. We love to go to the mall. You know, we, we love development as much as anyone else. But on the same token, if we don't protect what we have, it will be gone. So you got that balance going there. And we're unique in that area, aren't we? Oh, this this area is gorgeous. I have to say, I'm from Chattanooga, and it has it's beautiful. But this particular area, with the companies that are here, and the energy, and the natural beauty, it's really a, a garden spot. And Convention and Visitors Bureau does a great job of promoting the area. That's great. And yeah. they also talk about trails, so that's what we like. Yeah, let's talk about. Um, your various outreach programs because you got a lot of them. <clears throat> we have environmental education. It's called Tuesdays on the Trail. And this is a free program in, on Tuesdays in June and July. Mm -hmm. So we are working on that eight-week 
offering. Mm -hmm. The information will be on our website and on our Facebook page. And they're little snippets, little windows of, of time to go out onto the property, adults and their care, you know, parents. We always start off with, excuse me, <clears throat> uh, fishing outing at Harvest Square, which is our newest baby preserve. Where is that? It's up Jordan Lane, Highway 53. It's okay. about 60 something acres. It has two ponds that are naturally stocked. And when it's naturally stocked, and you can get a big mouth bass, wide mouth uh -huh. bass, uh -huh. a bass. A bass, Sorry. okay. Sorry. Um, that's about a foot long. Then, yeah, it, things, it's great. So we have um, cane poles and the kids fish. Then we go up and see the bats at Salda Cave. Some other things that are not on our properties, but are very indigenous to the area. Little gray bats about the size of your fist. Oh. 500,000 of them coming out of a cave in the summer. You should come with us. You put on your poncho, you'll have a good time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, all, that's part of our outreach. All and right. the other is, of course, with social media. Um, we talk about what's blooming on what trail and, and what's happening here on this preserve. The other outreach that we also encourage is volunteerism. Mm -hmm. Mother Nature loves to take back what we're carving out a little bit, gently, <clears throat> for people. And then we have trail care days. And you can get out. We have the tools, the instruction, and the supervision. All we need is manpower. So trail care days, okay. you're, you're actually taking care of the, of the property, if yes, you will. Okay. Because we're protecting it and when we preserve it, we also have to steward it and take care of it. So what, what kind of care are we talking about? Well, with trails, it's keeping them clear. With invasive species, it's clearing out things like um, honeysuckle. Oh. and other invasive species that will overtake the good natural native species. Um, we've just had our first prescribed burn, which means that you burn the underbrush because it's, and it protects it from, protects the plot of land from um, being overtaken by, by wildflowers mm -hmm, and it helps mm -hmm. the regeneration mm -hmm. of the undergrowth. Um, and just watching out for the properties, making sure that they are taken care of um, that there are no, we don't allow camping on our properties except for one spot in Limestone County. Mm -hmm. So people who are illegally camping can set fires and we oh, just yes. try to keep them off. Of, yes. so. Now, let's talk about, uh, your, in terms of your trail care, you obviously need a lot of volunteers. Do people just call and volunteer or do you reach out and get people? Yeah. I mean, oh. <clears throat> both, both. This is great. This is a great program, especially for high schoolers who need to bolster their volunteer hours. Yes. Mm -hmm. Families can, fam families love to do this because it's great fun to, you know, when kids are, kids never like to, um, how do I say this? It's always kind of fun to do something in somebody else's yard. Okay. So I've seen uh, a day I bring a couple of kids out and say, here, this is how you do this and this is. What, what you use with the rake, ah, uh -huh. so um, it's a training instance. But our trail care days are usually scheduled at least once a month. Sometimes mm -hmm. they have to be reactive. We, if we have a weather event like a tornado and they're down to trees, then we have to get folks out under the properties. Uh, we've got a um, land steward named Brandon Perry and he's fabulous and um, he will show people what to do and, and how to do it and be safe. It's about three hours, so that's, it's important for us to have a lot of volunteers, and you can do it. It's kind of like sweat equity. If you run on the trails, or use them, uh, the runners use our trails a lot, or bike on our trails, because they're, yes. they're multi-use. Mm -hmm. Hiking or walking, biking, running. And on one of our preserves, we allow horseback riding. So if you're not a member of the Land Trust, you can also give a little bit this way by being a volunteer. Let's talk about membership. We're the best deal in town. Okay. <laughs> Our memberships begin at $35, and the people that support us really strongly believe in land preservation and they believe in what we do. Mm -hmm. So we're very grateful to all of our members in whatever way they can give or donate. 
Now, before we go any further, we probably need to give uh, your basic information to we our... Have to. Yes, yes, so how people can reach Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Website is www.landtrust, N-A-L, and that stands for North Alabama, dot org. Landtrust, N-A-L, dot org. Our telephone number is 256-534-LAND. That's 534-5263. On social media, our Facebook page is Land Trust of North Alabama. And then on Twitter and Instagram, it's just Land Trust NAL. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we'll put all that up so that uh, people can yeah, get a you. chance to get their pen, pen and pencil and, and jot okay, it down. Because um, I'm sure uh, volunteers are needed on a consistent basis. Well, we have the trail care, and then we have environmental education. We have need of possibly volunteers in the office. Then we have our events. And I was going to get to that. Let's talk about uh, your events. You have numerous events uh, in the cage and uh, in the caves. I understand that uh, you're going on 11 years yes, already yes, um, with the three caves uh. concerts. Three caves. I've is. not been to one, but I plan on coming this year. I want you to be yes. there. We'll make sure that happens. Okay. <laughs> Three caves is a former limestone quarry at the base of Montesano Mountain, and it is, it's very historic. It's so historic we don't have any pictures of the miners, even though we've interviewed a miner or two. Okay. Um, it, the miners dug out this huge pit and went into the mountain, but the large opening that we call the bowl. The bowl. The bowl okay. uh -huh. is where we have um, had concerts for the past 10 years. We have our Moon Over Three Caves dance, which is going into its 17th year. Yeah, now what is that? <clears throat> it's a large event where we have eight top tables, <gasps> um, candles, we have a bar and a silent auction and a band, and put about 750 people down there. Really? It is a great party. A great party. And it's just so beautiful because we like the walls of the. Sorry, these man. The walls of the bowl are about 50, 55 feet tall, and we light them, and the, and the lights shine on them, and they're just, it's very dramatic. We've had more people get engaged at, right at the there? band dance, yeah? because it's a very romantic spot. And it's like, the bowl is like a listening room. Huh. They're very, you can hear the band, at the, which is at the north end. Um, the walls are, are not smooth. So the, the sound is amplified and it's just, it's an incredible spot, incredible. So we will have some concerts this summer. The Moon Dance is the third Saturday in September always. Uh, the Montesano Art Show's on in the morning and then we're in the evening in on the that evening. third Saturday of September. Now, going back to the, um, the concert. Yes, ma'am. How many concerts will you have? I think that goes on all summer? No, oh. we only have about three. Oh, okay. We have, we have one in place. I, I'm not ready to announce it yet. Sure. We have one in place. We're working on the second and the third. Okay. So all of that information will be on our website. Now, are they local bands that you get or? Some of the, some of the lead acts may be local, but we have started to pull Regional Some and national, national, regional, okay. Absolutely, we mm -hmm. have grown. Oh, our first concert 11 years ago was Phil Weaver Microwave Day. Oh, we yeah. We could not have had a more a better, wonderful send-off. That's right. From there, we started reaching out a little bit regionally in Nashville and okay. pick up some jazz folks. And, yeah. Uh, we had a jazz series for two a couple of years, so we'll always be synonymous with jazz, but... We'll have a jazz um, talent this year, too. Okay, great, great. And I also understand that you have something during uh, Halloween. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Tell called, us about that. It's called the Haunt at Three Caves, and we work in conjunction and partnership with the Huntsville Young Professionals. Ah, this will okay. be the fourth year, and I have to admit, when it first started, I was afraid that the, they wouldn't want to come to a Halloween party. Oh, oh my goodness. Packed, huh? <laughs> they, yes, it's packed. And you know, I'm older than dirt, but these kids no. these kids actually just dress to the nines. They are just Do they really? You could not um, <laughs> last year there was a Janet Jackson and I swore really? she was fabulous. I think she won first place. Wow. There is a costume. So company. there's a contest even. Yes, huh? And they do a great job. <laughs> and and they do group cosplays. Group okay. um, cosplays where you 
where you use your costumes and you dress up. And so these group um, efforts, one was Captain Planet and all his planeteers. And I thought, well, that was perfect for the land trust. <laughs> Oh, it's a great fun event. Sounds like you have a great time there, huh? Yes. Great. It's always good at Three Caves. Well, there's so much going on um, at the uh, Land Trust. What's kind of coming up? Um, any Anything that you can share? We're always looking at working for partnerships. We take care of the Nature Conservancy in Alabama's property in Paint Rock and on Keel Mountain, and that's a wonderful partnership. We'll be partnering with different local entities to protect property and work toward preservation. We love to talk with folks about preserving their land. Mm -hmm. And donations of land are, you know, happening. Consistently, consistently huh? Consistently, yes, ma'am. And we make announcements about that, so that's always great. Great, great. So now, when people are talking about wanting to donate their land, is it... You know, why do they why do they do that? They love it. They love their land. Mm -hmm. If you told me earlier that you lived on a farm. Yes, grew up on a working farm. Yes, and... ma'am. And and you have a heart for that piece of property. You know where the stream goes. You know what the bird song sounds like in the morning. Yeah. yeah. You know what the wind sounds like when it goes through the trees. Mm -hmm. And it becomes a part of you. Okay. And so landowners who value that that experience much. and that that love for their land and absolutely they come talk to us absolutely just talk to our, our executive director is marie bostick and she yes. was i know i'm dating this piece now that's uh, a, no problem Marie's gonna be here with marie. us for a long time <laughs> um, she was with the city for 20 yes. years as a planner yeah and knows so many folks and knows how to um you know she's the mom of the greenways the mom of wade mountain I know. and she's just she's wonderful I mean, that she was a real coup wrong. for you guys to, <laughs> to we get were Marie. Excited. Yeah, pretty excited. Yeah. So she she will tell you that. And if anybody who knows Marie knows that, she will tell you the straight of things. So she'll um, tell you what I'm sorry. She'll tell you the straight of things. Oh yes, for yeah. sure. So if your donation or well, we'd always love donations, but um, she will work with you hand and glove because she is uh, very adept at, at knowing all the pieces that are involved. So yeah, it's just just start talking about it, thinking about it. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of different ideas in our toolbox, whether it be a conservation easement, oh. or which is a is a um, conservation easement is a well, what's it called? Well, it goes with the property. It's a document that goes with the property and protects it from being developed. Mm hmm. But you still own the land and you can sell the land, but that easement goes along with it so that you know. Several generations, you know, your great, 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 great grandchildren are still going to enjoy the property that you enjoy. That you enjoy. So that's conservation easement. Then there's a simple bargain sale, donation, and a life estate. You can live on your property. Yeah. You can live on it and enjoy it. And then when you pass, it comes to the land trust. Lots of ways to be a part of this Fabulous. You, yes, ma'am. There, you just got to got to figure out which way is best for which you. Which ways? And Tax you know what's breaks. good about this? Um, it's really good to hear too, because you know so many people think about uh, once they have land, like families have land, they want to sell it. Uh, and here's an opportunity to donate it to a very, very good uh, cause. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. We, we're protecting about 6,600 acres right now with more in the pipeline so mm -hmm. it's a challenge but it's one we relish and and really enjoy you've got to love it too well i tell you what you get out on a property or hit a trail and you're out there for a few moments and you sit on a memorial bench and you just oh my relax yeah you center yourself well my plan is to come out and take part Real we would, soon. We would love for I'm going to put here. on my boots and, <laughs> We'd love and to my have jeans you, and, you. Yeah, and come out. Kathy, it's been wonderful to have you. Thank you so much. My producer is telling me to wrap it up, I'm you sure. know. You know how Blake yeah. is. Yep, I do. He's a good guy. <laughs> Thanks so much for taking time we and visiting today. We appreciate being allowed to come to come today. My guest today has been Kathy Main, and she's the executive director. Well, no, she's the marketing director of, uh, of the Land Trust. We're so glad that uh, you stopped and visited with us today. Have a great day. I'm Brenda Martin.
for Inside Huntsville.